Hello, my name is Dr. Jose Luis Ruiz, and I'm the director of the Los Angeles Institute of Clinical Dentistry. And it is really a pleasure to share with you this technique called enamel margin preservation. This technique is an integral part of the supergingival dentistry protocol. Why supergingival dentistry? Because traditional restorative dentistry to date has been usually leading us to have subgingival margins. And this is the case for the past hundred years. And the reason is because with traditional approach, using traditional boxes, dropping the margin to achieve proximal clearance, uh, the need for axial retention, axial walls, even sometimes for aesthetic reasons, we end up placing margins below the gums and that leads to lots of complications. I would like to share with you a technique they will minimize the chances of ending up with subgingival margins even when the caries appears to be subgingival. Let me show you how. Research is very clear. When we leave margins that are imperfect below the gums, the consequences really is just like leaving permanent tartar. Bacteria will colonize those, those imperfections and the, the gingival will be unhealthy. The literature shows this. Additionally, we all know that the gingival margins are complicated. Double core technique, bleeding during cementation, complications that we, we don't need. We have lots of new materials today, but sadly, often we prep uh, with, with traditional GB black preparations. Too much tooth is removed, so gingival margins are placed, and, and the results don't, don't really benefit a lot of our patients and they don't benefit us because they they tend to be difficult to do. On the other hand, when we use super gingival, minimally basic techniques, it is truly a paradigm shift. Uh, when we trust in adhesion, we don't need actual reduction, we don't need uh, boxes. We know that the adhesion will retain our restoration so we can stay above the gums and that really makes our patients' uh, periodontal health better it makes restorative dentistry more predictable when we learn how to uh, utilize supergingival dentistry. I have been an advocate of supergingival dentistry for many, many years and written many articles, as, as some of you may be aware. And, and I tell you why, because adhesive dentistry does not mix with subgingival margins. This picture right here tells you the whole story. This is a dentist on the left. She had an only place by a colleague which failed multiple times. She was very frustrated. And you can see why. You know, this, the margins are subgingival. Every time there was an attempt to cement those that only, there was leakage for sure, and it just never bonded correctly. Uh, the picture on the, on the right tells you the consequences. There is contamination during cementation. Uh, there's leakage from day one, and the consequences are very undesirable. So as a practicing clinician who's performed many, many thousands of these restorations, I feel that keeping the margin super gingival is paramount to success. And um, using the five rules of super gingival dentistry makes that possible, even in cases where it seems almost impossible. So we're going to talk about uh, the rule number three, enamel margin preservation. And right here on the x-ray to the right, you can see a case that traditionally we would imagine it would be way subgingival. The caries on the dentin is very deep, but the enamel is healthy. The enamel, up is, it, which is still supergingival, is healthy. So understanding that the, the research shows that when we, when we reinforce weakened enamel with bonded composite, that enamel will regain close to its original strength then we will preserve the enamel, restore it with composite, properly bonded composite. And from there, we take our impression, we put our final restoration on top of that. As you see on picture number two, the day of the cementation is very simple and predictable because we have super gingival margins and the patient will benefit greatly by this type of procedure. Uh, on the video that you see now, uh, we're doing it on a typodon. You can see a very, you know, exaggeratedly K2. This is one of the teeth that we use on our workshops at the LA Institute. And after occlusal reduction, because we already know we're going to do an only on this case, you can see how much caries. We continue to remove the caries. We leave the enamel that is healthy. We remove the caries on the dent and preserving the enamel. And as you can see, the caries on the dentin continues to go quite deep. 
once we remove the caries on the dent and we can repair the enamel with bonded composite as you see right here a matrix band and at the after repairing that enamel then our margins will be super gingival and the cementation will be very very simple this is a clinical case very similar to what we just did you can see extremely extremely decayed tooth after the removal of caries we still have a sliver of enamel that is above the gum then we go back repair that enamel using that enamel preservation technique this slide shows you the day of the cementation the healthy gum it shows you how easy it's going to be for us to bond predictably that onlay how much tooth we preserved and and this is this is really technique that, that makes life a lot simpler of course using good adhesives uh, this is clear VLC protect and and using proper techniques is paramount to success if you're interested in learning how to do and perform more of this super gingival minimally invasive dentistry i invite you to visit my website where we have many courses where we're very very detailed in how to be successful with the techniques if you have any questions this is my email my website it has really been a pleasure to share this information with you and have a great day